In a world where the internet evolves at lightning speed, innovation brings new opportunities and unforeseen risks. Imagine a new top-level domain where convenience meets danger. Introducing .zip, the latest creation from Google, but be aware For within this seemingly armless domain lies a gift that cyber criminals can exploit for their malicious purposes. The .zip domain extension, designed for simplicity and ease, presents a Pandora box of challenges to the cybersecurity we lane. At first glance, it may seem innocent, a familiar file compression format we all know, right? However, lurking beneath its surface are unforeseen dangers that can unleash chaos and threaten the security of individuals, businesses, and organizations worldwide. In their own hands, the .zip domain becomes a powerful weapon, enabling cyber criminals to disguise their malicious intention. Clock their true identities and launch devastating attacks with unprecedented sufficiency. They can seemingly deliver malware, phishing campaigns, and ransomware, all cleverly disguised with seemingly armless .zip files. As the digital landscape expands, so do the opportunities for exploitation. The .zip domain possesses a unique challenge to security researchers who must stay one step ahead of the ever-evolving cyber threats. Their tireless efforts to safeguard your digital lives are essential as they dissect the intricacies of this new domain, uncover vulnerabilities, and devise countermeasures. Hey everyone, it's Yaniv Hoffman here, back with another video. In the vast landscape of the internet, there are hidden dangers lurking in the shadows. One such danger comes in the form of .zip domains. And today we are going to shed light on why this seemingly harmless domain extension can pose significant cybersecurity risk. So whether you are an IT professional or a non-technical user, buckle up as we embark on this journey to uncover the hidden perils of .zip domains. On May 3rd, Google Registry made an announcement that raised eyebrows in the IT and security industries. They unveiled eight new top-level domains, TLDs, including .zip, just like .com, .gov, etc. While Google intended these new domains to add variety and innovation, many experts in the fields were concerned about the potential risks associated with this choice. But what's the problem with .zip domain, you can ask, right? And the problem lies in the similarity between the new top-level domain .zip and the popular file extension. Now, .zip is synonymous with the widely used file compression format. The confusion arises from the fact that domain names and file extension serve different purposes and carry different implications. Understanding this distinction is crucial for cybersecurity as both domain names and file extensions play a role in modern cyber attack. In the relay of cybersecurity, clarity and distinction are permanent. It is essential for users to be able to identify and differentiate between domain names and file extension to navigate the internet safely. The introduction of TLDs like .zip laws, this line, and introduce unnecessary complexity and potential security risks. So why are .zip domains dangerous, you ask? And let's break it down. I think point number one is uh, obscurity and confusion. Uh, domains extensions are meant to provide users with a clear indication of a website purpose or industry. However, .zip domain fail miserably, in my view, in this aspect. They offer no context, leaving users perplexed and uncertain about their website legitimacy. This ambiguity creates a perfect playground for cyber criminals to deceive unsuspecting uh, uh, victims. Imagine stumbling upon a website ending with .zip. Would you trust it? Probably not, at least now. And that's the precisely why .zip domains are so dangerous. They undermine the basic trust and understanding we expect from a domain extension. 
Another point is the deceptive nature of .zip. And a .zip domain is a top-level domain that utilizes the .zip extension. While the concept of uh, incorporating a well-known file compression format into a domain extension may initially appear innovative or appealing to certain uh, individuals, it regrettably brings about significant security risks, primarily stemming from potential confusion and deception. And on top, it's a heaven for spoofing and phishing attacks. And we all know that .zip files can carry compressed data, including malware, viruses, or other harmful elements, right? Cybersecurity are well aware of this too, and they exploit it to their advantage. By associating a domain extension with the notorious .zip format, they can trick unsuspecting users into visiting websites and could infect their devices or compromise their personal information. Think of it as a wolf in sheep's clothing, right? These malicious actors can create deceptive websites with .zip domains, mimicking legitimate organizations or services. They capitalize on the unfamiliarity and lack of relevance of .zip domains, increasing the chances of their successful attacks. Malicious actors can also take advantage of the familiarity of .zip file and leverage .zip domains to create fraudulent websites that mimic legitimate ones. These deceptive domains become potent tools for phishing attacks, deceiving unsuspecting users into believing they are interacting with a trustworthy website or downloading harmless content. Clicking on links from .zip domains can unknowingly expose users to risks such as divulging sensitive information or unknowingly installing malware on their devices. One example is provided by security researchers Bobby Rauch, I hope I didn't crash his name, in his article titled The Dangers of Google's .zip TLD. And Rauch challenges readers to identify which of the two URLs is a malicious uh, fish that drops file name evil.exe. And I put the URLs in question on, on the screen so for you to, to try to distinguish between, right? And which are the right one, which is the malicious one? And the correct answer is the second URL. While the first URL leads to a legitimate uh, zip file called version 1.27.1.zip from the github.com domain, the second URL, the second URL directs user to the domain.zip. And in this hypothetical example, accessing the second URL triggers the download of a malicious file named evil.exe. If you are able to identify the malicious URL, well done. However, it's important to note that the exercise assumes you knew that one of the URLs was malicious. In real-world scenario, without prior knowledge, it becomes challenging to spot such threat within the URL because between us, the majority of us are, are not really looking into the entire URL a link. Now, while the introduction of .zip domains did not directly make URLs difficult to read, as they were already complex, it is still a concern, and Google, known for its contribution to computer security, made a minor misstep with the creation of the .zip TLD. It's worth mentioning that Google had no significant pressure to introduce this TLD, and it's unlikely to become a major source of income for the company. Now, currently, the .zip domains are not in a widespread uh, problem. As of now, only a few thousands have been registered, with some likely acquired by security researchers aiming to showcase the risk or prevent criminals from utilizing potentially dangerous domain uh, names. So how you will recognize a legitimate URL? And let's break down a URL and explain the significant differences between them, focusing on how to differentiate between a legitimate and malicious URL. And you can look at the URL on uh, the screen, the HTTPS, github.com, Kubernetes, archive, ref, stags, .zip. And this URL follows the standard format and appears to be legitimate. The domain is github.com, as well a uh, known and trusted platform for code hosting and collaboration. The path is slash Kubernetes, slash Kubernetes, archives, ref stags v1.27.1 zip indicates the specific location of a zip file within the repository. The file name 
is v1.27.1.zip, suggesting it's a specific version of a file stored on GitHub. The second URL, there are subtle but important differences compared to the previous one. The domain appears to be the same, github.com, creating a deceptive illusion of legitimacy. However, if we closely examine the separators used in this path, we notice the presence of the slash character instead of the standard slash forward slash. Additionally, the occurrence of the the add symbol before the v1.27.1zip stands out as unusual. This modification aims to trick users into believing they are accessing a, a genuine GitHub uh, file when in reality they are being redirected to a potentially malicious website or downloading an ARMFOM file named v1.27.1.zip. The differences highlighted in the second URL are indicative of social engineering techniques employed by attackers. They utilize subtle alternations in URLs, such as using non-standard separators like, dot, uh, like slash instead of uh, forward uh, uh, slash, or adding unexpected symbol like the add to deceive users into visiting fraudulent website or downloading malicious files. These tactics relies on users' tendencies to trust familiar domain names and overlook minor discrepancies in the URLs. Even individuals with experience in the cybersecurity may struggle to identify these subtle signs, emphasizing the importance of raising awareness and adopting preventive measures against social engineering attacks. Another point is branding and user experience uh, challenges. And businesses and organizations invest heavily in their online presence and branding. A well-chosen domain extension can enhance recognition trust and credibility, right? Unfortunately, the .zip domain sabotage these efforts. Picture a well-known brand like ABC Corporation with the .zip domain. It just doesn't make sense. Users rely on visual cues and familiarity to dodge the trust swapping of a website. When encountering a .zip domain, they may hesitate to engage or even perceive it as suspicious. This leads to a negative user experience and damages the brand's reputation. Another point that I can think about is disrupting internet standardization. And the internet thrives on coherent naming conventions, allowing users to navigate seamlessly. But the introduction of .zip domain disrupts this harmony. The internet functions smoothly because we can recognize domains extension and associate them with specific types of website. However, with .zip domains, the logical structure collapses. It becomes harder to differentiate between legitimate website and potential security threats, making our online experience more challenging and risky. In response to, to concerns raised about the .zip domain, Google has issued a statement addressing the potential risk associated with the confusion between domain names and file names. They have highlighted that similar cases have existed in the past, such as 3M's use of the domain name command.com, which shares its name with the important program in MS-DOS and early Windows version. They returned me to the 90s or even the 80s when I was a kid using the MS-DOS operating system. And Google emphasized that existing security measures like Google Safe Browsing mitigate the risk posed by such confusion. And these measures apply not only to established top-level domains, but also newer top-level domains like .zip. Furthermore, Google registry is responsible for managing the the top-level domains already have mechanisms in place to suspend or remove malicious domains across all TLDs, including .zip. They assure users that they are committed to monitoring the usage of .zip and other TLDs and will take appropriate actions to safeguard users if new threats emerge. Now, while Google acknowledges the concern, it maintains its dedication to combat phishing and malware. However, the necessity of introducing a .zip domain remains a subject of debate. From a personal standpoint, there may be doubts about the genuine justification behind creating a .zip domain. I, I don't get it, sorry. 
The opinion suggests that dot zip domains could potentially be as risky as any other uh, domain if they fall into the wrong hands. Do you agree or disagree? I would love to hear your uh, opinion. But until then, here are some cybersecurity experts' opinion on the security concern of dot zip domain. So to conclude, although the idea of dot zip uh, domains might seem interesting, they actually bring a lot of risks. These domains can trick us into thinking we are on safe website when we are not. We might unknowingly give away our personal information or download harmful stuff. The introduction of dot zip uh, domain also makes things confusing. It's hard to tell if a website with a dot zip domain is trustworthy or not. This confusion makes it easier for bad people to trick us and harder for us to know who to trust. To stay safe, we need to be careful when dealing with .zip domains. We should be on the lookout for phishing attempts, use good security software, and be spectacular about downloading things from .zip domains. It's also a good idea to research a domain before clicking on it. By being aware and taking precautions, we can protect ourselves from the dangers that .zip domains can bring. Hope you like it. If you have some different views about the .zip domains or new information, would love to hear. Leave it in the description. If you are not uh, subscribers to this channel, please do. It will only take a second, and it's contributing a, a lot for me to continue and operate uh, the channel. Until the next video, see you.